El Paso International Airport, like every other airport across the country, is dealing with a major drop in business due to the pandemic. The airport had been on the up and up with new nonstop flights, a new rental car facility, new landscaping, but all of that has now changed. So the question tonight, how does the airport get past this turbulence? Very, 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 very lonely. <laughs> it's been years since Denise Marioni has flown out of El Paso International Airport. And what a different airport experience it's been for her amid this pandemic. It's very, very different. There's no traffic there. I was the only one in line when I got here. And I don't know if I'm the only one's going to be at the airplane as well. Just a handful of travelers we saw during what would have been a busy time of year. We have seen a dramatic decrease in passengers. Cassandra Davison with El Paso International says recovery will take time. Step one, reassure those thinking about flying. We're looking to make sure that we build that confidence with passengers that when they come to the airport, that they're going to be safe. Davison says the airport has doubled its cleaning efforts, focusing on high contact surfaces, and it's put social distancing measures in place. El Paso International currently offers service from seven airlines with 14 nonstop flights. The airport is a department of the city of El Paso, but it is financially self-sufficient. It's money coming from passenger fees, revenue from its industrial parks, and federal funding. The airport recently received $15 million from the CARES Act to keep the planes flying for now. And Davison says keeping the airlines in El Paso will be key moving forward. Our city is always in competition with other cities for a finite amount of aircraft. And it's going to be even more so during this time because all, all communities all around the country are going to be looking to rebuild their service as well. And according to airport documents, passenger travel in El Paso has dropped 50% in March compared to March of last year. And April is expected to be likely worse. Those numbers are going to be released next week.